I'm Elizabeth Pine. I'm thrilled to be here today to really celebrate this amazing exhibit, this retrospective of Macmillan Inc.'s nine decades of interior design. The most exciting thing about the show to the public is seeing these two watercolorists. One, Elizabeth Hoops, did room portraits after the room was finished. The other, Grace Fakes, did propositions in watercolor of what the room would look like if the client bought in to the act. And I really give you an A+. Plus. This feels like the biggest and most personal history paper that one could ever do, which is a timeline of Macmillan's 90-year history in interior design. One thing I really always wanted to do was to graphically show how long a number of significant designers worked at Macmillan and to show the overlap that they worked together. When Mrs. Brown was here uh, 65 years, my mother 65 years, and Louis Ray, our third president, 45 years. When Albert Hadley came and Mark Hampton came, they studied with people who had been at the beginning of American interior design as, as we know it today. Elizabeth, this is your living room, is it not? I recognize yes. it from my book. I love it. It's so fearless and whimsical and elegant, just like you. Thank you, Susanna. Um, it is my apartment, and I absolutely love doing it. Uh, this is my favorite room, my favorite little nook in the apartment. Um, it's very light in the morning, and it's just a cheerful, happy place. Now, it's kind of near here, isn't it? Could I please see it in person? I would love to invite myself over and chat with the two of you in the living room. Yes, I love having people over, so let's go. Let's go. I'm so excited for you to see my apartment and to meet my little dog Clementine. Such a great building. Oh, thank you. Tiny! So Elizabeth and we're in your amazing apartment. On the way over here, I got a little backstory actually, which is, in reality, I didn't know this, when this apartment was being decorated, when you first got this apartment, how many years ago? 10. 10 years ago. You were actually not at the time a Macmillan employee, you were at Sotheby's. And this was really done, you were the client of your mother, and would you also say your grandmother at the time? And was she a difficult client, mother? How did that all work out? How she, did... she was very feisty at the start, but then she came up with the idea she would take a day off from Sotheby's and go with me shopping. And once she found things she liked, like this Coco Chanel sofa, she became much more docile ah. and easier to handle. One of the things I was really feisty about not wanting to decorate this apartment was I didn't know how long I was going to be here for. Mm -hmm. And so I was really nervous about decorating and committing to a space. And my mother insisted that I do. That you deserved was, a room of your own, that it was beautiful and exactly. elegant and whimsical. And so I have to say that once it was done, it was the most amazing feeling to walk in here and see beautifully made curtains. And, um, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I'm in my room and the sun is coming in and the wallpaper is just so, and I have the tape trim on the Venetian blinds that matches the wallpaper, it's just... It's so nice, and it's all those details that I think um, you can only get by hiring an interior designer, and young people Or your don't... mother. Or your mother. Your mother is yeah. always right. So, Anne, not only did you gallantly help Elizabeth in realizing her first home, but you later on were uh, the designer. Your own mother was your client. Yes, they, and, were, they were my two favorite clients. Your two favorite clients. And, and uh, Elizabeth... Uh, I think Elizabeth participated more as, as a decorator with me once she got going, but my mother remained in, stubborn and calcitrant, and she continued to say no one had ever shown her the floor plan, and we went over the floor plan ad infinitum, and it had all her favorite things. It had three bay windows. My mother marked every house she ever went in by putting a bay window, and it, the core of it was yellow, which was her favorite color for a house. And uh, it had so many of her favorite things in it, but she fought me about everything. But it is one of my favorite homes that I've ever seen, and one of my favorite stories that you wrote about the journey of realizing this wonderful space for her. I, I think when I, when I went in there, uh, every time I felt happy, like Elizabeth's apartment, and really the spirit of both of them 
is in both of these houses.